Hi, I'm John with Prima Coffee, and in today's video we're going to talk about how to navigate the menu on the E65 and E80 GBW grinders for technical troubleshooting purposes. If you have an E65S um, or an E80S, please consult the user manual for more information. The E65S is a very simple menu and it should be very straightforward. The E80S is similar to the E80 in E65 displays, but obviously without the grind by weight functions. All right, so let's dig into this a little deeper. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look at is uh, just in the main menu, uh, we don't have to go into the password protected menu, so I'm just going to double click the toggle dial, and then I'm gonna go down to statistics, here we can see uh, what they call uh, today or daily statistics. Uh, we can see total statistics over the time of the life of the grinder. Motor cycles, on off cycles. What's important about this is on the shots ground or in the case, because this is a GBW grinder on the kilograms ground today, and that doesn't necessarily reset daily. This can be manually reset. So if you're trying to gauge the use of the grinder in a certain amount of time, this can be helpful in order to do that. Okay, so from shots ground, I can click on the toggle dial once and I can go ahead and reset that. Now it's at zero, uh, kilograms ground. Reset that. Okay, that's at zero. So we can keep these two statistics running for any amount of time we want before we reset it in order to gauge just basically grinder use uh, helps with to see when we need to change the burrs out. Like in a previous video I talked about duty cycle, uh, help us see if we're exceeding that during certain points of the day. Okay, so we're gonna exit that and we're gonna go into the password protected menu. So we're gonna go to settings, safety and passwords. Click to log in. All right, and I'm gonna click on the little eyeball so I can see what I'm inputting. And again, our password is 6781. And we go to enter. All right, logged in. I'm gonna go back to uh, the first menu there. And we can just go through these real quickly. General settings, uh, language, uh, date, time. Grinder settings. All right. Obviously, we have some functional settings. Uh, the first thing we get to is fan number one. It's showing a temperature readout in the grinder and an operational percentage of the fan. If you're ever curious whether the fan is working correctly or not, you can go to fan test and click on, and we can hear the fan kick on running at 100%, so we know the fan's functional. It's not making any unusual noises. It's obviously working, um, so we know that is good, and we'll go ahead and turn that off. Obviously, the temperature on screen setting if you want to monitor the temperature of the grinder as you're grinding through on uh, daily use. And the last option here is GBW fail mode. This will just basically help us override uh, the mandatory load cell operation when uh, you are using the grinder. Uh, when that happens, you would go just like that, you would go out, Uh, it will demonstrate that it's in that mode. And then when I go to replace the portafilter, filter, um, I'm not going to get the same reaction where it's looking to tear out the weight. Um, obviously, it's not grinding anything right now, so I'm just gonna go into my manual mode uh, where it just shows uh, time output. So if the load cell is not functioning, but the grinder is, that's a great way to get by until you can get the load cell working again. I'm gonna go back into our menu.
And I'm going to go ahead and turn the GBWFL mode off so that the grinder works properly. Okay. Um, so on the main menu, uh, another thing we want to look at is internal presets. I talked about this in a previous video. Uh, this is where we can adjust our GBW resolution. So if you are having trouble with the grinder tearing properly, taking a long time to grind, uh, this is where you would go and change that resolution from low to high or low to medium. Um, or if you have a more stable surface and you want a very accurate grind, you would go to high or medium. Okay, and then uh, the next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna exit out and we're gonna go down to service. Okay, when you're logged in with service, um, you are able to uh, see an error log. And this is helpful. Uh, as you notice, the first thing that came up was load cell overload. I had purposely done this to, when I was working on this earlier, if I push on the load cell and I put too much weight on it, either with the grinder on or off, it will create this load cell overload. So if you have a lot of issues where your grinder is going out of calibration, you can check these logs and see when this happened. And it may be a sign of like somebody handling the grinder improperly, or it may be a sign that there's some issue with your portafilter fork and it's putting excess pressure on the load cell when it shouldn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the error log. And then, of course, uh, in the video before, you can see this is where you access the calibrate load cell, uh, your disk detector. And then uh, if you've run into something and it's just not resolving, one step is to reset the grinder. This will clear out all your menu programs and your recipes. Uh, so just be aware of that. But uh, generally, I've had luck with glitchy issues being resolved when I reset to the factory settings. All right, I'm John with Prima Coffee and that's our video on how to troubleshoot technical issues using the display menu navigation on the E65 and E80 GBW Malcona Espresso Grinders. Thanks for watching.